Hi scholars, we're just going to do a couple of quick examples um, of how fractions and rational expressions work uh, when we're doing algebraic manipulations, for example, solving equations, right? This right here is uh, called a rational expression. It looks like a fraction. There's a fraction bar, right? The only difference between this thing and a fraction is the fact that there is a variable now, right? This x right here is not a number, but instead it is sort of this unknown value, right? So, okay, let's read the question. If 7 over x, let's get rid of all this stuff, if 7 over x equals 5, then what is the value of x over 7? Now, we could do this a couple of different ways. So, one way is we could say, well, look, I know that 7 over x is the same as 5, which is just the same thing as 5 over 1, right? Anything, any number is itself over 1. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And what do I have here? I have a nice proportion. We can go cross multiply, right? It's kind of a thing. We get 7 times, so this leads us to be 7 times 1, which is 7, equals x times 5, 5x. And the question is asking, so okay, so 7 equals 5x. I can divide both sides by 5, right? So now I have, I can cross that off. Now I have that x equals to 7 fifths. And the question is asking, what is x over 7? So I can just substitute that x, the value of x, in right here. And I end up getting that if I wanted to write x over 7, right, I'm basically just writing this as 7 fifths. This is my value of x quantity, all that over 7. And now, my goodness, I'm dividing. So that's really the same thing as 7 fifths times 1 seventh. Uh, right? I can flip a multiplier, whatever you want to do. And now I can cancel out the sevens. And so this whole thing all equals 1 fifth. Oi, oi, oi. Look at all this mess. Hmm. Is there a simpler way to do this? There certainly is. If 7 over x is something, they're asking what is x over 7? These two things are reciprocals, okay? They are reciprocals of each other. And look, our answer is just the reciprocal of 5, right? So let's rewrite this again. So here's another way. This is sort of the easier way to, to think about this is I have that 7 over x equals 5. And notice that they are only asking me for the value. They want me to find x over 7. They don't want say, what is solve for x, right? In this way, we did solve for x. We found out that x was 7 fifths. But you don't even need to solve for x. They just want to know what is the value of x over 7. Flip them, OK? So 7 over x equals 5 means x over 7, right, equals 1 over 5. This is the reciprocal of this. And this is the reciprocal of this. And we're done. OK, so that's our answer. Our answer is 1 fifth. Let's take another look, um, another problem. OK, so this one's a little bit different. So this one says, if 4 thirds of x equals 3 sevenths, then what is the value of x? OK, so in this case, we have our 4 thirds of x. Let's just rewrite it here equals 3 sevenths. Now here they're asking us to solve for x. So how can we isolate x? How can we get x all alone, right? This is the goal right now, is to get x all alone. Well, what's in the way of x is this coefficient 4 thirds. We can get rid of 4 thirds by multiplying by the reciprocal, 3 fourths. Notice you can see what happens when you multiply a number by its reciprocal. Right? You could either multiply across, you get 12 over 12, which just equals 1. Or you say immediately, look, the 3's cancel, the 4's cancel, and everything cancels out, right? So all that's left is this invisible coefficient of 1. 1x one is left um, on the left side of the equation. Now, of course, we can't just do something to one side of the equation without doing it to the other side as well. So in the same way we multiplied 3 fourths by the left side of the equation, left hand side of the equation, we're going to do the same thing here, multiply 3 fourths on the right side. And we can look and say, does anything cancel? Not really, right? So that's fine. All we have to do now is just multiply across, just like we uh, know how to multiply two fractions. 3 times 3 is 9, 7 times 4 is 28. So our final answer, x equals 
It's a kind of not particularly interesting answer, but that is the answer. x equals 9 over 28. And you say, well, is that true? Is there any way that we could check this? Certainly we can, right? We can check it. We can say this is the one value, right? This equation is sometimes true. It is only true when x equals 9 over 28. Let's check it. Is it true that 4 thirds, right? And then we're going to substitute in our x, which is now 9 28 right? Does that, in fact, equal 3 over 7? And we don't know. It's a check, so we're going to put a little question mark there. Is this true? Well, look, 9. I can cancel out a factor of 3 here. Let's do it in a different color. So this 3 is gone. This 9 turns into a 3, right? Because 9 divided by 3 is just 3. 4 over 28 is the same as 1 over 7. And what do I have left? On the top, I have 1 times 3, which is 3. And on the bottom, right, when I have this is canceled to be a 1, I have 1 times 7, which is 7. Yep, it checks out. 